Hello everyone, my name is Richard Dean. I'm one of the technical product managers here at Quest Software. Thanks for joining me today for this demonstration of the Quest On Demand Migration Desktop Update Agent or DUA. So what's new with the Desktop Update Agent? <clears throat> the DUA agent will eventually replace the current client update agent. Don't worry, this won't impact your current projects. We'll support both for a while. The new agent will not only support Outlook, as we always have, but now include OneDrive for Business, Microsoft Teams, and your Microsoft 365 app subscription. New reporting will provide real-time updates when the user completes each task. The new management interface will offer administrators a single place to track and manage the entire process from end to end. New delivery methods include a direct download option for the users, or administrators can choose to silently install the package before execution. Finally, the agent supports users with multiple devices, shared machines, and all your modern authentication methods, including multi-factor, federation services, modern auth, and more. Now let's jump into the demo. Under Accounts and User Data, you'll now, you'll now see a new tab called Desktop Agents. As you can see, I have a collection of users here that have completed at least one mailbox synchronization and one OneDrive synchronization. Some have been deployed with the silent install agent and some have been deployed with the direct agents. Most are complete, as you can see, with the workstation recorded, and some are in flight and waiting the end user to act. For our demo today, we're going to take Arnold, and he's completed his migration tasks, and he's ready to uh, begin switching his applications. I pre-installed the agent on his workstation, so we Now it's time to switch over Arnold's applications. I've pre-installed the agent, so we don't need to take any further steps. If you need to download the agent, you can download it here, or you can download it from the dashboard. There's also an option to, for direct download, where an email is sent to the end user while they download from a secure URL. Click Next. This is where we choose which applications will be reconfigured at this time. In our case, we're going to reconfigure all of them. Click Next. An email will automatically be sent to the source mailbox. Optionally, you can copy one to the target mailbox. Click Next. You can either run the task now, you can run it later, or you can schedule it. For now, we're going to run. Click Next. While the task begins, and once it starts, we'll see a status update occur for Arnold. In the meantime, let's go to his workstation. As you can see here, we have Outlook configured for Arnold. <coughs> As you can see, Arnold here on AZ Lab 080. We also have them configured here for Teams. And we have OneDrive set up. And the emails arrived. So you can see it's just a simple set of instructions for what the end user should do next. In our case, because we silently installed the agent, it's here on the desktop. The end user can automatically launch it. There are options to have it auto launch during next login if that's required. We're just going to start it. It's prompting me for my password. Click start asking me to exit Outlook before I continue. 
it'll auto start. It's now complete. I'm going to enter in our password as Microsoft requires. Click done. Now this will create a new <coughs> a new profile so the file will download if cache mode is enabled. Um, PSTs will be reattached and your signature will be migrated if that was option. Let's go check the account. As you can see now it's Arnold at BTZLab080. Oh. Sorry. As you can see now, Arnold has moved over to AZ Lab 081. We're going to minimize that. Now it wants us to start Teams next. Is it? It's asking us to exit Microsoft Teams. Be sure that you quit Microsoft Teams from the menu. It auto starts. Teams is auto starting. It will auto start with the new account and the new target tenant. Status has been updated. Account is launching. And as you can see, it's been moved over to AZ Lab 081. Let's minimize that. Next is OneDrive for Business. During this process, we're going to add an account. So you'll have both the source account and the new target account. You can decommission the source account when you're ready. This is where you would choose a different container. If you want a different container, you cannot reuse containers. And finally, we're going to reconfigure our Microsoft 365 application subscription for Outlook, for OneDrive, for Word, Excel, any of your office applications. This is complete. Click close now. Now let's go verify. Let's launch Word, for example, to complete the process. Click sign in. So you enter your email address, address, accept the license, accept privacy, and now you will see under accounts we're now reconfigured to AZLab081. So all our applications have been reconfigured. We now have connectivity to our files in both source and target. Let's go look at on demand. Now we have Arnold and his status has been updated. Let's refresh that. Now the computer that we were on has been recorded. It's been recorded that he's completed his office as an Outlook and OneDrive Teams application cutover. For more information about Quest on Demand, visit quest.com slash on demand. Thanks for watching.